And now notice verse 9. What does he do now? He appeals to God in his distress. And Jacob said, O God of my father Abraham, God of my father Isaac, the Lord which says unto me, Return unto thy country and to thy kindred, and I will deal well with thee. I am not worthy of the least of all the mercies and of all the truth which thou hast showed unto thy servant. For with my staff I passed over this Jordan, and now I am become two bands. This is Jacob. And this man now appeals to God cries out to him on the basis of that he's the God of his father Abraham and the God of his father Isaac. And I begin now to detect a little change in his life. This is the first time I've ever heard him say, I'm not worthy of the least of thy mercies. Here he, for the first time, is acknowledging that he might be a sinner in God's sight. You know, we got a lot of fundamentalists but I don't think they've acknowledged they are sinners for years. I had a man that wrote me quite a lengthy letter. He was incensed that I would indicate that he's a sinner. And he told me what all that he had done and that he'd been saved and he now was not a sinner. I bet he is. <laughs> May I say to you, we're all sinners saved by grace. And as long as we're in this life, we've got that old nature that isn't even fit to go to heaven. And you know something else? It's not going to heaven. God's not going to let it go. Well, Vernon McGee can't go there. That's the reason he had to give me a new nature. The old one wasn't even fit to repair. And so this boy is beginning now to say he's not worthy. And when any man begins to move toward God on that basis, he'll find that God will communicate with him. And he makes this very interesting statement that he says, I went over this Jordan here just with his walking stick, my style. That's all he had. Now he's coming back and he's got two bands. This is Jacob for you. And now will you notice, listen to him, verse 11, Deliver me, I pray thee, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him, lest he will come and smite me and the mother with the children. And I tell you, he really cried out to God. And that night was a very difficult night for him, and he didn't have any aspirins to take that night. It was difficult. 